If you step back in time to the early days of F.J. Wright's high school, you may be surprised to learn that Wright's original colors were actually purple and gold. The reasoning behind the change from purple and gold to the revered blue and gray we know today is still misunderstood. There are a few myths surrounding why Wright's changed its colors to blue and gray. The most prominent of these is that Wright's High School gave up its original colors so that an African-American school in town named Lincoln High School could have those colors. There are two facts that tear apart this myth. First, Lincoln High School opened in 1928, three years after Wright's abandoned the original colors. Second, a white school giving up its colors for an African-American school would have been highly unlikely in a time when racism was rampant. Another myth is that the colors were changed because Wright sits near the border dividing the old North and South, known as the Mason-Dixon Line. There is no record of any kind substantiating that belief. In an edition of the Wright's Mirror from April 16, 1924, it is said that during a student forum, changing the colors was discussed. However, it was not decided in this meeting that the colors should be changed. In the very same edition of the Mirror, it also poses the question of whether people wanted the original colors to be changed or not. Incidentally, in the 1924 yearbook, it says the senior class discussed the possibility of changing the colors in a meeting on April 2nd of that year. Although this meeting did not result in the final decision, it could have prompted the student forum mentioned in the Mirror article. It is interesting that the class of 1924's colors ended up being blue and gray, as noted in the class will in the yearbook. This shows that today's colors were popular colors at the time, having been used by Wright's first graduating class. In any case, the change of the school colors actually seems to have been made because of Wright's football team. In the September 19, 1924 edition of the Wright's Mirror, it states, much talk has been circulated about the school colors being changed. Later on in the article, it says, the football team's sweaters and jerseys are blue and gray, so the colors don't correspond. The article said it was necessary for either the color of the football uniforms or the school colors to be changed. Students were urged to make an appeal on the matter to the principal, Mr. Bossy, as well as to the faculty. In June 1925, it was announced in the Wright's Mirror that new equipment for the football team had arrived. The jerseys and socks are different this year from the ones last year, it says. The jerseys are blue with gray stripes on the sleeves and big gray numbers on the back of them. The socks are solid blue this year instead of purple and gold. The official change of the school colors was announced the very next fall following this issue. In the 1926 yearbook calendar, on October 19, 1925, the HIY club held its first meeting, and apparently at this meeting, there was a vote to determine the school colors. Blue and gray ended up being the outcome of the vote. The story of the old colors being given to an African-American school, as well as the story of the new colors being decided on because Civil War history are just that, stories. The colors of the football jerseys, as well as the popularity of blue and gray in the early years of the school, caused the colors to be changed. Considering how synonymous the colors blue and gray have become with rights throughout its history, it is hard to imagine that they were not the original colors of the school.